the last thing I wanted to bring up on this Oppenheimer note before getting to your questions, which I think is fascinating, is Wall Street thinks, I don't know, I, I may be reading this wrong, so correct me, but they look like their 2020 revenue estimates are 25.1 billion, up from 23.9 billion for 2020. They're expecting 25.1. That would be like three or 5% growth from 2019 to 2020. I mean, that is this is the guy who has a $600 price target, thinks Tesla's gonna do 25 billion in 2020 revenue, 29.4 billion in 2020 run revenue. The point is, I just think this is getting started. If the street is coming out with a $600 price target and they're only expecting 25 billion in revenue next year, I mean, my estimates that I put out on Hypercharts for a video, um, I actually just toned them down to make them even more conservative. It was like 32 and a half billion. And that's more than their 2021 estimate is only 29.4 billion. So my point is, if you think Tesla's on the cusp of delivering over 500,000 cars this year, which I think is a given, I think it's about 550,000 cars, we are looking at a massive re-rating upward for Wall Street uh, estimates. And what does that mean? I mean, now this is the fun part because for so long, Wall Street didn't get it. They didn't get it. We were getting sort of the, the bad end, the short end of the stick with the whole Wall Street situation, their short-term thinking. But now that's sort of flipping and that short-term thinking, the way the Wall Street system works is now going in Tesla's favor. They have all of these Excel models with all these fancy numbers predicting how much money Tesla's gonna make. They move extremely slow. They're lagging. They're slow to react and update these. And now we're in this you know, potentially month or quarter long, quarters long process of every single Wall Street analyst continually incrementally upgrading their entire financial model. Every single time they do that, there's a big new price target jump. There's a whole new headline. Tesla stock hits all new highs. That's the pattern that's been unfolding for the past couple of weeks. And my point is, if you look at these estimates and you look at what Tesla's about to do, that looks like it could continue significantly into the future. Um, Cause I think to sum up my whole point and rant here, if you're just joining us, I think Wall Street is hugely underestimated. Even the, the big, some of the biggest bulls on Wall Street are just totally underestimating what this company is going to do in 2020 and 2021. And I think that is is what's driving the stock here is looking at continual re-ratings upward.